Meanwhile, the president will be making that promise to announce it at the Bellagio. It's safe to say one casino executive who will not be there is the guy who used to own the Bellagio, Steve Wynn. The policies of this administration have destroyed the working, the living standard of the working class in America. What is ostensibly the base of the Democratic Party is taking the worst hit in history because of these unbelievably uninformed policies of this president and his colleagues who have fostered this ridiculous class warfare, the, these, these nonsensical process, uh, policies that have been proven to be ineffective and unsuccessful everywhere they've ever been tried in the world. But Steve, I mean, um, I know you've been a big supporter and backer and, and confidant of Harry Reid, uh, the prominent Democratic senator from Nevada, just squeaked by with a re-election. Um, and he endorsed this health care plan, led the charge in the Senate for the president. Uh, were, were these costs escalating even prior to health care coming, or, or did they just get out of control since health care came? They were escalating before at a rate of about 8% a year. And the devastation of Obamacare, we estimate to be north of 12%. Uh, that increased, the, that, that is to say, the rate of escalation of health care costs has increased by 50% because of what they did. And what's so is incredible, that the biggest factor for you, uh, Steve, as far as one making decisions down the road and helping out these two Israeli gentlemen, I guess, to expand there? You just wouldn't do it or couldn't do it because you just didn't see the light here? I can't see the light. Hmm. I'm frightened to death about the future of business. But uh, you're not frightened to formation. death abroad, so in Macau and some of these other locales. Well, the policies are much more steadfast, really? much more carefully considered. Uh, you know what to expect, uh, at least in Macau. Uh, people matter in Macau, and working folks there get primary consideration. The president gives lip service to this sort of thing, and the speeches are absolutely enthralling. But so much of what what this is all about today is not what they is not what they, is what they do, as opposed to what they say. The speeches are great. The actions are horrifying. I mean, it, it's almost impossible to believe that they don't know that what they're doing is destructive, but they do it anyway. And and frankly, Neil, I don't understand that. Uh, for you know, my friend Harry Reid hung up on me the other day for the first time in 40 years. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what it's come to. Uh, I supported a Democratic congresswoman named Shelley Berkeley. I called her during Obamacare. I said, Shelley, what are you doing? How do you do this? This is killing the unions and all of us that are supplying health care to our employees. And she said to me, quote, quote, now this is not hearsay. Shelley said to me, and she's running for the Senate, Steve, I know it's terrible. My husband's a doctor. He hates it, too. But if I wow. don't vote for it, she will punish me, she being Nancy Pelosi. Wow. And I said, I said, Shelley, every politician that's ever sold out their constituency has had a lame, terrible rationalization like the one you just gave me. Don't ever call me again. She says, I'm sorry you disappointed me. I still love you. And we ended the conversation. That's politics in America today. And if, if any businessman or any working person doesn't understand that this is a turning point in American history that I'm afraid we're going to get what we deserve.